In this episode of Right From The Start, I'm going to show you a recipe that we all love, pizza. But pizza with a twist, I'm going to make the dough out of millets and not just atta or maida. So millets are very good for us because of their high dietary fiber, carbohydrate, vitamin and calcium content. Also, they are significantly tastier. So this recipe is going to have ragi and jawar in it with a lot of spices and it's going to be delicious. So the ingredients are jawar flour, ragi flour, semolina, atta. And I use semolina to give it that little additional crunch. Along with it, we're going to use herbs. So garlic, oregano, chili, yeast, sugar, olive oil and salt. So to make any dough light and springy, you've got to use lukewarm water. So I've got lukewarm water into which I will put yeast and you've also got to have an activating agent. So in this case, it's a little bit of sugar. Put the sugar in and put the oil in. Now be careful that the water is not too hot because yeast is an alive thing. So if it is too hot, then it's just going to die out. But if it is nice and lukewarm, then it's going to activate and get into action and we're going to have this lovely springy dough. So keep this aside for a few minutes and in the meantime, mix all your doughs. So this is jowar, ragi, atta and semolina. Okay. Mix in the herbs too and salt to taste. So you can mix up your herbs, you can do dry herbs, you can do fresh herbs, do a little basil, pepper, salt, mix it up as you like, try a different thing each time and you get wonderful results. So the yeast is ready, it has dissolved and you can make out when you stir it and the colour of the water changes completely. So what you need to do is just add it into your dry ingredients. This is a fun recipe to get children involved in as well because they can come in and knead it and pour and do all of that. Great fun to do it together. So start kneading it, be careful the water can still be a little warm. So when you start mixing it, you'll find that it's a fairly wet dough and this is where a lot of people get scared. What happens? How will I know if the dough is ready? It's simple. Just pull it out and this is where it is different from chapati dough. You've got to roll it out like this and roll it for a good 5-10 minutes and that is what gives that springy dough and that is what gives it that light texture, crunchy texture, all of that comes from this rolling. So just bring it in, push it out, bring it in, push it out. You can do different things, you can even just go chop, chop, chop. If you've got your child involved and they're just throwing it like that, that's also okay. There's no particular way to do it. You just need to keep kneading it for a good 5-10 minutes. So after about 10 minutes of kneading, you'll find that the dough comes together, that it doesn't sort of leave any stains on the, on the bench. And the other good way to test that the dough is ready, just poke it and it'll start coming back up. It may not come back fully, but just that little bit. That's when you know your dough is ready and you can stop kneading. It's worth it to knead it for about 5-10 minutes. It gives you wonderful results. So just make it into a ball. Put it back into the bowl and I'm going to cover it with cling film. And this will help to keep it nice and warm and help the yeast to activate. So keep it in a warm place for at least an hour. Two hours is good and uh, you'll see how it doubles up and then we'll move on to the next stage. So while the pizza dough ferments and rises, we're going to make a quick tomato sauce. So it's simple, it's tomato, basil, ginger, garlic, salt, pepper, chilli, that's it. So in a dry pan, I'm going to put in chopped tomatoes. And what I like to do with the basil for additional flavour is just tear it up. Somehow with all of these leaves, whenever we bruise it just by touching it, it releases its oils and therefore releases a lot more flavour. This is my quick 5 minute tomato sauce. So as long as you have dough in the freezer, you just have to quickly make the sauce, put it on the pizza and it's done. Much faster than getting a takeaway. Okay. I'm going to put ginger garlic some chilies and a little bit of salt. So 
So I haven't used any oil here at this point purely because you don't need oil for this. So just cook it down for a few minutes until the tomatoes soften. Blitz it in the mixer. Tomato sauce is done. So my jiffy tomato sauce is now ready, and let's go get on to putting the pizza together. Okay. Let's have a look at our pizza dough. Very nice, perfect. Can you see how it is risen, and it's nice and spongy? That's perfect. So out of this, I can get about four to six pizzas. But you know what? Look at the size that you would like. Would you like to make mini pizzas? Would you like to make a large size pizza? Whichever way. So I'm just going to take out a little bit, and I would suggest that you roll it out with atta, um, as compared to any of our other millet flours. It just sticks better. So this is where you can be as creative as you like. Do you want to make a deep dish pizza? Do you want to make deep crust, thin crust? Do you want to put cheese in the middle of the crust? Go ahead and do that. What kind of veggies do you want to put in? Do you want to put some veggies in between two crusts? Absolutely up to you. And this is the fun of making pizza at home. Get your children involved. Get them to come in and maybe roll it out. It doesn't matter if it's in different shapes. Let them roll it out. Let them put their choice of veggies. Let them put as much sauce or cheese as they want. It's an absolutely fun family experience. So when you make pizza in the oven, just put a little bit of flour on your tray, then put the dough. Then we're going to put a layer of sauce. Don't make the sauce too heavy because then you'll get a soggy pizza base. You just want to be able to taste it, so a little bit. So for this size, I've put in about two tablespoons of sauce. Okay, and then veggies, whatever veggies you want. And do you want it diced? Do you want it sliced? Do you want it long, short? Doesn't matter. Be as creative as you can here. The more creative, the more fun everyone has eating the end product. Also, olives, jalapenos, pickles, whatever you like. Okay, I've just put some corn capsicum. I'm going to put a little bit of carrot and top it up with a little bit of basil. Basil, fresh basil, going over pizza right at the end is absolutely delicious. And this I will put into the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes at about 180 degrees. But do try it out with your oven, see how long it needs. Now there's a different way when we do it on the tawa. When you do it on the tawa, you got to heat up the tawa. So when we do it on the tawa, you don't do it in exactly the same way as when you put it into the oven. Let the pan get a little hot. Put a few drops of oil so it doesn't stick to it. You don't need a lot of oil, just a few drops. Just about that much. Swirl it around and then put your base on it. This will ensure that the base comes off easily. So cook it on one side, then we'll flip it and that's when we add the sauce and all the ingredients. So it's cooked on one side and I know because it's gone nice and, and brown. Now as soon as I turn it on the other side, that's when I'm going to put my sauce. So I'm going to make a margarita, simple margarita pizza out of this one. Put the sauce, I'll sprinkle over some cheese. It's very nice to just break up cheese in your hand as compared to necessarily grating it. Our whole idea is to go rustic. It needs to feel like we've made it at home and if it's uniform shape and, and things like that, it reminds us of a mass-produced pizza. Sprinkle that over. Once the cheese has melted, this pizza is done. Okay. Sprinkle over some basil. Okay. And if you feel that it's getting too hot, all you need to do is switch it off, put a cover on top so that the cheese melts and your pizza is ready. So this is my recipe for millet crust pizza with ragi, jawar, atta in the base. 
with a quick tomato sauce, lots of veggies, and we have got two varieties, margarita and an all veg. And I've done it two ways. Remember, you can do it on the stove if you don't have an oven. If you have an oven, that's obviously the best.